Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. Well, we have warm weather in the weekend forecast, and that's certainly welcome news after a, a very cool April. Let's uh, take a look at the numbers. 46.1 was the average temperature uh, for Bradley International Airport, which represents the Hartford area. That's 3.3 degrees cooler than normal. And factoring in the rain we had last night, 5.39 inches of rain. That's a surplus of 1.67 inches, so we're doing just fine when it comes to, uh, you know, our water supply here in Connecticut. And we had 2.4 inches of snow, which is one inch above normal. we got more rain falling in the state right now. Some heavy showers are occurring in uh, southwestern Connecticut. You can see a batch of heavier showers around Brookfield, moving through Danbury toward Bethel and Redding. And even Wilton might get a uh, heavier shower over the next hour or so. And uh, elsewhere across the estate, we are seeing that there are some uh, showers but a good part of the state is dry right now with um, sunshine in many parts of the state, which is keeping temperatures beautifully up in the uh, 60s for the time being. It could still, still see uh, some lingering showers in northern Connecticut. All right, there's a right cam in Hartford where we have a mix of clouds and sunshine. It's 63 degrees and not much of a wind right now. And there's our ICAM in New Haven, where it's 63 degrees, a beautiful sky, and a light southwesterly breeze at 10 miles an hour. Very nice there. Temperature-wise, the warm spot right now is uh, Norwich at 67 degrees. It's 59 at Windsor Locks and 58 degrees in Torrington, where there's a mix of clouds and sunshine. And for the most part, winds are light, although Groton has a wind that's out of the southwest at 12 miles an hour right now. Looking at the larger picture, we do have cooler air off to our north and west where Syracuse is 52 and Buffalo is 48. That cooler, drier air will make its way into the state tonight once we get rid of this system, which is still causing some scattered showers across Connecticut. There might even be a rumble of thunder in some towns as well tonight. On Futurecast, you can see the scattered showers at 7 o'clock this evening. A few may linger in eastern Connecticut around midnight, but they're gone by tomorrow morning. In fact, at 7 o'clock in the morning, it's going to be nice and sunny, sunshine pretty much all day long. And then as we go into Saturday night, the clouds are going to move in in advance of a weak system that will produce a couple of scattered showers Sunday morning. But they'll exit the state quickly, and a good part of the day is going to be sunny and warm. All right, lows tonight in the mid to upper 40s. And your highs for tomorrow after a cool morning will make their way up to 70 in many parts of the state. We're going warmer than that on Sunday. A morning shower, then sunshine and 77. Monday's going to be partly sunny, windy and cooler, a high of 62. It looks like we'll have nice weather Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, although temperatures will still be a little bit below normal. The next storm may not arrive until around this time next week with a chance for rain toward the end of next Friday. And for the shoreline tomorrow, we're forecasting a mostly sunny sky. And with the land breeze, the shoreline's going to be warm, too, with a high of 70. Dennis, back to you.